there are two condition of Leibniz test only. One, the series should be decreasing one. Another one is that it should be Hello aspirants, welcome to Plutus IS again and I am here again with the new series that we have continued in the last one that is alternating series and then we would be coming up with next video that is arbitrary series. So alternating series, in the last class we have discussed the infinite series and this is arbitrary, alternating. What is about this one that which series is considered as alternating? Like the name suggests, if your sign would keep on changing that first it is plus, then minus, plus, minus, then that kind of series is known as alternating series. And what is the notations for this one? So, usually we not denote series by summation a n where n approaches ranges from 1 to infinity. So, here the sign keep on changing first it would be plus then minus then plus then minus or minus plus minus plus that way so how you would be representing that if it is alternating series then it would be minus 1 raised to power n a n that is how we denote n minus 1 because first term is plus and what if plus, first term is not plus nothing that then take minus common and that all sorted so this would be the general notation for your alternating series now how you would be testing its convergence divergence whether it is conditionally convergent that is another concept that we do have under an alternating series so let's see one thing that there is only one test that would be telling you the convergence of alternating series and this is Leibniz test so what we need to do under Leibniz test very simple test you have to consider only two conditions first one is the series should be decreasing one what does that mean that you have to find out relation between a n plus one and a n and always your a n plus one should be less than equal to a n and second condition is that that find out the limit of n -th term that is limit n approaches to infinity a n this should be equal to zero so this is the Leibniz test and if it is satisfied then the series is convergent but we cannot say otherwise that series may be convergent if, if this test is not satisfied this is only one way it is not both the ways that if and only if condition nahi hai so do remember that bacche galti kar jate hain but aisa kuch nahi hai and another thing next concept about alternating series is absolute convergence what is that absolute usually when you have to talk about absolute terms what we do we take modulus and same is here that whatever your alternating series is what you need to do take the modulus of that and if you have taken modulus then your all the negative terms would be converted into positive one and then you have to check its convergence okay but are you wondering that which test we would be using for considering the absolute convergence no, you shouldn't because if you would be taking the mode, all the term would be positive term and that is positive term in finite series and then we would be using all the tests that we have discussed earlier. Your comparison test, all the comparison tests, three types of comparison tests that we do have. Then we have pressure test, roots test, rabies test, logarithmic test and then later on if these tests fail then we do have next step for each and everyone after logarithmic test you can go for goals test that is finite that is the final one that that would be giving you result for all the values but yes that hypothesis of that test you need to fulfill that it should be having some proper format and if that format is satisfied then you can go with the ghost test and that is the simplest way i think if you are once you are sorted with applying the ghost test then that is the simplest way okay so all these methods can be used and let's see how we would be using this one so i have taken one question only that would be clearing both the concept of Leibniz test as well as absolute convergence let's see read the question and this is the question that has been appeared into upsc exam as well so this is the theme that keep on repeating into upsc and that is why i have selected this one so question asks 
the test the convergence as well as absolute convergence of the given series isn't is a alternating kind of series yes it is because if you do say that this is summation n is equal to 1 to infinity minus 1 raised to power n minus 1 a n then here what we will get here a n is equal to 1 by n raised to power p and first we need to check its convergence so to check convergence what we need to do there are two condition of Leibniz test only one the series should be decreasing one another one is that it should be approaching to zero or you can say limit n approaches to infinity should be zero now is it decreasing one so what we need to check see we need to find out a relation between a n plus one and a n so how you can find out we have n here so we do always know n is what into sequence and series n is always your natural number because that is the domain of sequence so here n is natural number and for all natural number what we do have n plus 1 is always greater than n and that that means this implies n plus 1 would be its power would be p greater than n raised to power p for all p greater than 0 negative ho jayega, then inequality would reverse but they are taking p greater than 0 so this concept it is true and what we require 1 by n p so do reverse the so it would be 1 by n plus 1 raised to power p would be less than 1 by n raised to power p and what is this this is a n plus 1 and it is less than equal to a n so that is the thing that we needed to prove and there would be no e equality as well complete inequality a n and this implies first condition is satisfied now what we need to check limit n approaches to infinity a n limit n approaches to infinity a n and what is that limit n approaches to infinity 1 by n raised to power p and keep remember that here p is greater than 0 so p is positive always and it would be into the denominator only so it is what 1 by infinity and that is 0 so both the conditions of Leibniz test has been satisfied and hence by Leibniz test this is this alternating series is convergent therefore by Leibniz test series minus 1 raised to power n minus 1 a n is convergent. Now, so first part is proved. Second, what we need to show? We need to find out its absolute convergence. So let's see what would be the absolute convergence to check absolute convergence. So for checking absolute convergence, what we need to find out, you need to consider summation mod a n and what it would be. This is summation mod of minus 1 raised to power n minus 1 divided by n raised to power p and this is nothing a series of this kind. And we know by p test, this series is convergent if p is greater than 1 and divergent if p is less than equal to 1 so by p test because now it is positive term series so by p test it is convergent for p greater than 1 and divergent for p less than equal to 1 and therefore when your modulus of a series would be convergent then we do say it is absolutely convergent and going ahead if your modulus is not convergent but the series is convergent then we will be saying that given series is conditionally convergent so when your p is greater than 1 then our absolute convergence is true the given series is absolutely convergent but if p is less than equal to 1 and the lowest, lowest limit of p is 0 
So between 0 and 1, the given series is conditionally convergent. And if P is greater than 1, then it is going to be absolute convergent. So that's it. Stay tuned for more videos.